Good morning, seventh graders. Um, we originally were not planning on having a kind of at home learning slash snow days built in this week. Um, and as I'm sure you all remember, um, you were supposed to have your novel test this week. Um, and they were going to be pretty lengthy. Um, but I'm kind of backing it up a little bit. We're doing it, we're going to go out in a different way. And I'm going to give you more of a hands on assessment for your novel. And on this announcement, um, and I will also be emailing everybody to remind you to read your announcements because I know some of us don't always check them on Canvas and read our announcements like you're supposed to. Um, so I'll make sure everyone's got it. Um, so um, there will be several videos on this announcement. This is one just kind of telling you that kind of a change of plan. Then there will also be an individual link for whichever project option you choose. Okay, and I'm going to get into all of this here in just a second. Okay, there will be three main options for everyone to choose from. And I will have a fourth option for those of you that are reading Black Hawk Down, um, just because that is a nonfiction piece and it's, it's a little tricky to do some of the other options. Um, so basically what we're gonna do is, um, in place of a written test with uh, multiple choice questions, short answers, essays, et cetera, um, you are going to choose how you show me your book. And like I said, I've got the three different projects and this is gonna be several weeks long. And unfortunately, we're not gonna have class time because we're done with these novels. Um, we are done with these novels and we are ready to move on into our next uh, study, which is going to be for your class. Um, you guys have Michael Jordan, the biography to read. So on your own time, before school would be a great option. Um, if and when we have flex, that's another great option, okay? but you guys have about three weeks to get these finished okay and whenever you are finished with, you can always turn them in early that is always a great option to make sure you get them turned in okay all right so um each of the next videos will be going over one of the projects and i'm actually going to show you an example of each so that you know what i'm talking about so you can pick which link you want to watch um and you've got three weeks to do it any and all supplies that you might need <laughs> I will have, with the exception of any individual pieces that I mentioned, we're doing these, okay? If you want Sharpies, if you want colored paper, um, we, I've got it all, okay? So you can always come in in the morning, eat, grab some, use it, um, so we can go from there, okay? Your first project option is going to be, <laughs> one second, I've got papers going everywhere, just a moment. All right, sorry about that. I fixed all the papers that are falling everywhere. <laughs> the first option we're gonna have is going to be a lap book. You might have done some of these in previous years, and it's gonna have some papers that you put on here, some words and some colors. You've got all sorts of choices. This one will be explained in the next video. Okay, I also have, this is a, this is a brown paper bag um, book report and it's got everything that any that your lap book would have just in a different way so you've got a little bit of a choice on how you present your material okay then i've got another option one second this one is going to be a book report mobile um, and these might look familiar to you if they don't look familiar to you i guarantee you your parents have seen these and done these um, but yet yeah, the um, expectations and a better description will be in one of the preceding videos as well. Then I have one final option that will be available to my students reading Black Hawk Down, and that is gonna be the poster version, and I will have the video that explains that as well. Um, so this is not due until the Friday before we go to spring break, so you guys have three full weeks for this, plus whatever's left in this week. Um, do not freak out if you don't have some of these supplies. Do not freak out and start saying, Mom, I need you to go to the store. No, you've got plenty of time. And I'm actually in each of the videos going to explain which of these supplies I have, which I can just hand out, okay? Most of them I can, okay? And there are some uh, variables that you can use to get these finished, okay? So just be thinking about, um, as you're watching these videos, be thinking about which option you like, and then be thinking about which one is best for you and your novel, okay? Um, so definitely um, look through the videos and see which one is best for you. If you have any questions, shoot me an email.